to listen to some music. I ate some donuts, even though I fucking hate donuts, but they are free, so I ate them. If food is free, I'll eat it, regardless of how I feel about it. That thing Zavid was holding? What do you think that was? Gun. From the sound of it, it seemed to belong to Eifried. I've never seen any object or art quite like it. I have. Maybe it's that relic Eifried brought back from a continent across the sea. An art from another continent. Do you think Aizen will be alright? That Moloch seemed to know what he was doing. I'd rather we just stayed out of his way, but... First the throne, and now here. What is Zavid after, anyway? He was probably just making up that date business. But still, old pointy beard? Just like Eifried. When I was talking with Benwick, he said Eifried had a pointy beard. You have a pointy beard. You don't say. Then I bet Zavid is that wanted Moloch the Abbey's looking for. Yeah, he must be aware they're after him. And then he baited Aizen into following him, using something that belonged to Eifried. And I'm pretty sure Aizen knew that, but he went after him all the same. Ugh, this can only go well, I'm sure. Is Aizen in trouble? It doesn't matter either way, if his Corsair scourge goes untreated. For now, let's get back to the ship. Thank <laughs> you. 
It said there's ten, so that would leave me to believe I've killed eight out of ten. I feel like that can't be accurate. sell off my junk. Talk bubble, probably. This fucking Discord. Uh, survival games attract a certain crowd of people. I don't know why. Hey. Thank you. 
Guys saying no racism, and he just put out a poll with a racist option in it. Okay. Look, a frog. It's unusual to see one this close to the sea. Hey, I thought of a poem. Day at Port Renied. A frog jumps into the void. The sound of the sea. Mogilu? What was that? Just a little poem that popped into my head. My inspiration came from pondering the terror a frog would feel if it unwittingly leapt into the salty ocean. That... that's... I don't get it at all. I got another one! Skinny little frog, Mogilu is on your side. Do not give up hope. Um... I guess that one is about... rooting for a frog? That's right. I once bet a fortune on a game of chance involving frogs. That was my inspiration for this one. What do you think? Poetic, isn't it? I think you have a gambling problem. So... did this skinny frog win? Nope. I lost my entire bet. I think we can call that poetic justice. Hey. We've brought back your Salatomas. Drink up. You've saved us! There goes my controller. Where's the first mate? We bumped into some wannabe tough guy Moloch and he just took off after him. What? That must have been Zavid! Why didn't you guys follow him? And leave you all with the Corsair Scourge? Yes! Aizen's the one in danger here. Is it because the Abbey is after Zavid? So you even knew about it? I heard the details from a merchant who deals with the Abbey. Some big-shot exorcist named Melchior has set up a trap for Zavid and Loringen. If Aizen gets caught up in that, he might not make it out alive. So now there's Melchior to worry about. Why is Lord Melchior assuming direct command to capture Zavid? Wait, that's not important. What matters is I can turn Lafayette's head over to him and finally return to the Abbey. Melchior is a legate. A powerful enemy. Trap or no? Ugh, you guys are useless! Well, fine. If you're not going to go help him, we will. What makes you think you're capable of being any help? Would you let an ally get slaughtered just because you were scared? What? We want to save him. Maybe we'll lose. It still won't stop us. We are the ones who decide our fates. Only us. That's just the creed of Eifried's pirates. You're a real hothead, you know that? Nobody said anything about not helping Aizen. Huh? You all stay here, take your medicine like good little boys, and be ready to welcome back your first mate and captain. The captain? Why else would Aizen knowingly barge into a trap, if not to save Eifried? Uh, <laughs> of course! Leave the ship and crew to me! Here, this one's for you. Those pirates haven't a lick of sense in them. They don't let reason dictate who they protect. <sighs> if you say so, demon. <laughs> now. About where Aizen's headed. 
Those exorcists were talking about some place called Loringen. Yes. It's a tower in the northern part of Westgand where the exorcists train. Lines up with what Benwick told us. That must be the place. There must be a lot of exorcists. Hang in there, Aizen. That'll take more than basic exorcists to do him in. We ought to pity any poor exorcists who meet the Reaper. Right. Let's work together and find him. What if I wanted to get on this boat instead and go back and kill the thing I skipped? That's what I want to do. No, I get no choice in the option. I like how they finally give you the boat, like, okay, you can travel now. Freely, you get the ability to go where you want. Immediately, nope, back on the rails. Fuck your freedom. Is this your second experience with the Corsair Scourge? No, I had it for a different reason. In the Abbey, it's tradition for initiates to drink Solitoma as part of their welcoming festivities. Sounds like hazing to me. When everyone shares the same experience, drinking something so shockingly revolting, our bonds are strengthened. It's a good thing. If you say so. I really did believe I'd never have to taste it again. To be blunt, I hate it. You're lucky you think it tastes so terrible. That means you also know what tastes good. Right, Velvet? <sighs> what does that mean? Velvet can't taste anything aside from blood. What? Is that because she's a demon? I'm aware of one other flavor. Mogulu, here's your dose of Solitoma. <laughs> no! Get back here! <laughs> Don't! Keep that salad thing! I see. The sweet taste of another suffering. Quick break. <laughs> 